Hey Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. By the way, during this busy time of year, I can remind you to do something so you don't. Hey, welcome to... back. Just say. Uh, it's on my cold plunge. A couple of updates this week for you. In the next four minutes and forty-five seconds. Uh, the Endurance Hour Podcast, episode 385. Now on iTunes. We recorded it today. Wendy and I talked about uh, uh, cages versus clip-on pedals and kind of go back a little bit in uh, memory lane when we use our first uh, cages and now how uh, clip-on pedals are the best way to go. Talk about the difference. If we had our choice of the following Ironmans, which would we do? Ironman Arizona, Florida, or California? You might be surprised in the answer on that. We also talked about practicing open water swimming and how to deal with body contact, which is something I did in a, what do you call it, like a, it was a clinic before my first Ironman in 2008, Ironman Coeur d'Alene. Got a coach, we got a bunch of, like 12 people went down to Ironman Coeur d'Alene, uh, the lake, and did some practice uh, running into the water, and then we also practiced body contact. We'll talk about that in a podcast. Also answered a couple of questions. There was a little uh, walk down memory lane on how Ironman 70.3 Boulder has evolved over the years. Speaking of which, as of this year, for the next three months, all of our triathlon plans on training peaks are now $99 or less with our discount code. So there's a posted price, Ironman 70.3 Olympic and Sprint, all distances, all levels, $99 or less with their discount code. You get that discount code by going to uh, endurancehour.com. So it's a pretty good deal. We're trying to help you get good plans now before the season gets going. And our plans have like 12, 16, and 24 week uh, different uh, lengths to them. And we have videos before every major co uh, training block. So Wendy and I talked about how to approach each week or each big main training block, like four week blocks, how to approach it, how to adjust your plan. So these are training plans with coaching videos within them along with links uh, to resources, uh, terminology, Q&A videos, bonus videos, and so on. So that's all on our triathlon training plans, which really does set it apart from other plans. It's kind of a multimedia approach to uh, help you get the most out of your program if you don't want to hire a coach directly. Oh, man. Speaking of which, we have put together some specific uh, race training plans for events. So we just wrapped up doing Ironman, Chattanooga, and Chattanooga 70.3 training plans. So if you're getting ready to do that, which is coming up in, uh, what, 24 weeks or less, we have plans that also talk about a swim, bike, and run course preview for that event. So that's pretty exciting, very specific to the course. So if you think about doing that race, Chattanooga, check it out on Training Peaks. I'll put a link below, by the way. And we just wrapped up a new training plan specific to Ironman 70.3 Boulder with, again, with a swim, bike, and run course preview along with tips and strategies on how to uh, strategize that course specifically. I've done 70.3 Boulder. Wendy has done it a couple of times, quite a few times. In fact, she also did Chattanooga. So we're doing, we're doing plans specific to races that we've experienced personally to help you uh, succeed in the best possible way. So that's kind of some updates right now with the Endurance Hour, training plans, the podcast. I'm plunging right now with one minute to go. I've been plunging since uh, August of 2022 during my preparation for Ironman Arizona. It's my way to enhance my performance, decrease inflammation, help me get back on the next day's training workout, uh, refresh. I felt very little soreness after some of my hard workouts by doing this. Lowers inflammation, great for recovery, mentally, uh, builds your mental resilience and fortitude, uh, jump starts the nervous system. It's a great way, and I'm still doing it, and I'm not training for anything right now. I get it at 44, 45 degrees. I do this three, four times a week, sometimes a little bit longer. Five minutes is usually my, uh, my minimum. You only need about 10, 12 minutes 
uh, per week of cold water immersion, get the best benefits. Anyways, if you're gonna to wanna to get one of these, I got a link below to save 150 bucks off your cold plunge at thecoldplunge.com. Hey Alexa, stop. Uh, use the code Dave150 at checkout, save 150 bucks off your plunge. They got cold ones, they got the hot plunges, basically a hot tub, the water's rotating, they got jets in here, it's great. Best investment I've made, uh, not only athletically, but also just kind of a life hack. I love this. So I'm over five minutes. Great. Um, what else? What else? That's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. That's the update for this week. I got my plunge in. And let's get going the rest of the day. Have a great one. Whatever you do, make it count. All right, all right, all right. Until next time, just keep living. Adios. If you want to experience the benefits of cold water immersion or contrast water therapy, use my code DAVE150, DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Save $150 off your next purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com.